Atlanta Sports with Slitta. Uh, subscribe to the channel, folks. You know what to do. As you can see, I'm trying. I'm trying a, a little hard to uh, uh, to get what I want out. You know, it's supposed to be a big night for Atlanta tonight. You know, with the draft, uh, the Atlanta Hawks in Game Six at home against the Boston Celtics. Uh, I'll talk about the Atlanta draft uh, pick of uh, John Robinson in another video. Um, but the Atlanta Hawks uh, were eliminated tonight, y'all. 128-120 by the Boston Celtics. Celtics beat us two times here in Atlanta, and that gave them a 4-2 series win. Um, congratulations to Celtic fans. Congratulations to Master at Work. Congratulations to uh, Deshaun Parks. Um, but this, this is a series the Hawks could have had. But I'm not going to take anything away from Boston. You know, they were clearly better coming in. Uh, I said at the very beginning of the series that the uh, Hawks were going to be competitive, but we're going to lose in six. So I called it and everything. Um, so I wasn't wrong about that. I mean, as disappointing as I am that it ended tonight, I'm also relieved because now we can fix this terrible defense. But what I saw tonight, what I saw the last two games actually, uh, it was very encouraging. Um, what I did say, and you know, there are times that you know, trust me. Even though I will speak very critical of my teams, uh, I, whenever I speak negative of my teams, like I say, my teams are going to lose or this and that, I, I want to be wrong. But the reason why I speak the way I do is because I know my teams. I know what they've done. I know everything about them. So it's not something that's shocking. So I'm not just going to come out and say stuff just to say it. I felt like the Hawks were, were not going to win this series. You know, they came out in game one, were down by 30 points at half, made a run in the second half, lost by 12 or something. In game two, we came out in Boston and actually led by 11 and then just fell apart. We, we wound up losing by 12 or 13 or 11. Game three in Atlanta, we won, which was a nice win. Hit big shots in the fourth quarter. Game four, we actually had many chances to win, but lost 129-121 when we couldn't make stops late. Uh, game five, and again, and nobody thought we could win, including myself, and I really wanted it to end right there. The reason, and the reason why I said I wanted it to end right there, and I openly said it, even though I was happy we won, don't get me wrong, you saw my stream. But I knew that I did not want to win because I did not want to come back to Atlanta and get and suffer a crushing loss. So I would have rather if it had ended in Game Five in Boston, so that way, you know, it's it's kind of easier when you lose on the road. When when you lose when you get eliminated at home, it's got that feeling that just really, it's really a, a kick in the gut. It's like and, and I've seen my Atlanta teams get eliminated so much at home. You know, you think about it against the Bucks in the in the Eastern Finals two years ago. We lost Game Six um, at home. You know, I think against the Miami Heat, I think we lost at home. I'm not sure. I think we lost at home against Miami in the playoffs last year. 
and then we lose at home here in an elimination game. And every time you lose at home, it's not a good feeling. You know, the crowd was jacked. Everybody was lit. The, the Hawks fans really come out for this team. And, uh, man, they came out. The Hawks led by 7 at one point, 60 to 53. Fell asleep at defense. We led 113 to 110 with like six something to go and then fell apart. We couldn't make stops. We couldn't hit a lot of shots. We turned the ball over. Um, you know, for the Celtics, Jalen Brown was just a beast. And Jalen Brown is rumored, I think he's a free agent, to maybe come to the Hawks next year. I really would love to have him. He kept hitting big shot after big shot after big shot the whole series, even tonight. Smart hit some big plays. Jason Tatum hit some big plays. Trey Young came out and played unbelievable. 18 points in the first quarter, finished up with 30. He kind of slowed down. You know, I, I said before this, before the game, I said in order for us to win tonight, we needed Trey Young to, and it's on video. It's on video. We needed Trey Young to score 25 to 30. He scored 30. We needed Deshante Murray to score 25 to 30. He scored 14. He had none in the first half. We needed DeAndre Hunter to score 15 to 20. I think he scored 17. We needed Collins to score 15 to 20. I think he scored 20 or something or 18, 17. We needed Capella to score uh, 10 points, 10 rebounds plus. That's what he got. We needed Bogey to score 15 to 20. I think he scored 12, but he was still pretty efficient. But Murray didn't come to play. So, I mean, I'm not angry that we lost because I didn't expect to win. I'm just disappointed because... I did not want this feeling of losing at home and getting eliminated. You know, game five was an unbelievable win. But I said going into that game, I did not want to win because I did not want to be crushed at home. And for those who haven't lost an elimination game at home, you don't know how it feels. It feels like it's just terrible feeling. But I'm also very relieved that this season is over with. So now we can get rid of John Collins, get rid of DeAndre Hunter, get rid of Clint Capella. Clint Capella, you know, he, he played some games and all that, but, I mean, to be 6'10 and to get beat up in the paint and have guys drive past him with layups, which happened tonight, were just unacceptable. Um, DeAndre Hunter and John Collins both chose the last two games to, to ball out. Where were you all year? Where were you the first four games? You know, if John Collins and Hunter would have played this way from the first game on, who knows, Hawks may have won this series. So, um, I mean, I'll, I'll, do a, I'll do a Hawks review probably on Saturday. It was going to be on Wednesday, but the Hawks screwed everything up by winning Tuesday. Um, but... The guys that I believe will come back to the Hawks are Trey Young, Bogdanovich, Deshante Murray, Akongwu, Jalen Johnson. Um, that's really about it as far as guarantees. I think everybody else is expendable. I think Capella will be gone, Collins will be gone, and Hunter will be gone. Because we clearly need defense in the paint. I said tonight we cannot allow them to get easy points in the paint. Did, I mean, the Hawks were aggressive in the paint, but late in the ball game, they got what they wanted in the paint. Celtics, Celtics are really good, and I knew that coming in. I felt like, again, that Milwaukee Bucks would have been a better opponent for us. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I feel bad for the loyal Hawks fans who, who sold out State Farm Arena again. I feel bad for Blitzer, my dude. I feel bad for me. Because obviously I got all the merch. You see it. But uh, I am glad this season is over. Because it would have been tough to win in Boston, but I really wanted it. After after winning game five, I wanted to win tonight. Go check my video. I, I did not want to lose tonight. But as the sports gods would give it, uh, another crushing elimination game at home. So it is what it is. No, I will not watch any press conferences. I, I don't care. I don't care about what they got to say. I could care less. But I did want to give congratulations again to Master at Work and to Deshaun Parks. 
You guys are playing the Philadelphia 76ers. We all know, everybody knows the Sixers are going to get destroyed. And where you're hiding, you coming into my chat and laughing at my team and my Hawks fans in my chat and me, when we just got eliminated, <laughs> if you thought when, when, when I got on you with the Eagles choking the Super Bowl, the Phillies choking the World Series, and Ohio State choking in the college football playoffs in the same year last year were bad, just wait till the Celtics, Celtics destroy you. So enjoy it tonight, sir. Do all your comments that you want. Do all your emojis. Tomorrow, do all your comments. However, I don't know when game one is. But if I'm here at the house and the Sixers and Celtics are on television, I will stream it. And that one comment that you posted, I have it. And when you're down to those final seconds of your season against the Celtics, I will remind you. Because Philly teams do not win. Where are you hiding? You do not win. And karma is a, a B.I. So, but that's all I got to say about that. I'm just glad it's over with now, finally. And we can start uh, re retooling this team and everything. So, yeah. Hawks lose it again. 128-120. Season is now over. Thanks for everybody who participated in my Hawks games. I did every game this uh, in this first round. Thank you very much. But I expect the Hawks to fix it, fix this defense, and make a deep run uh, next year. Because we, we cannot waste uh, Trey Young's talent. we got to get players in here who are going to help this man and bring the Hawks a world championship. It's been a very disappointing season, and I will talk about that on Saturday. It's been a very disappointing couple of years. Subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, support it every way possible. Click the like button, share it to all your outlets. Support it in every way a channel can be supported. Hit me up on Twitter, at ATL39. Atlanta Sports with Slitta, Sports out in the ATL. Thank God it's over. Whew, relief. And I'll see you in the next one.